Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're using the Mega Mod in our town of George. And, uh, well, it's been a long time since I've been in here. This is the co op series between Night Ghost 49, Vapa Gaming, and myself. And it's. How do you describe this? It's going back into this map is kind of like seeing an old friend they haven't seen for a long time. So, yeah, I'm glad to be able to. Get back in and see if we can bring it, uh, the series of George to a to its rightful conclusion. See how we can end this thing. Um, boy, where to begin? Let's just take a quick tour through town, just kind of see everything again. We've got our woodworking industry up in this area, and down in here we've got our industrial area, more of the ore working. We'll put it that way and all of the labor that supplies it. Bit of a farming agriculture area there which expands out into here and get a lot more. And kind of the uh, oh the main strip into town, into the city, which became quite the fancy city here. I'm gonna do a little expanding in here today. And then got a big harbor that was it was being worked on up in here. What are we going to do? Let's let's check in at City Hall. See what's going on. I think we are. Yeah, we're at year 100, and over a thousand citizens now. Yep, George has definitely grown up. Uh, production was looking good, pretty much everywhere. Food is only about 8,000 behind, so I'm I'm really impressed there. Everything else is looking fine. So, look at this by quantity, almost 9,000 reeds in there, almost 12,000 furnace fuel, lots of maple sap. <laughs> Maybe we can go take that uh, crop of maple trees out and put something else in there. Yeah, um, let's see, yeah, let's just dive in and see what trouble we can get into. Let's start with the maple trees. This is the source of all of that maple sap. And it is just growing like gangbusters. Making only 750 a year, but it is really persistent. I believe we are turning that into sugar somewhere out in here? Or was it up in here? What are you? You're the sugar house. So we can either put 10 more of these in to make up for that, though are there many recipes with sugar? I mean, is that used in any of the bakeries? I don't recall sugar in here. Seems like there could be a more complicated, you know, just honey, a more complicated uh, uh, bakery recipe in some of these. You know, sugar, eggs, flour, and blueberries to make muffins instead of just blueberries and flour. So that would be a little more beneficial for you know, to get you to actually start making sugar. Um, let's pop another one in here just to get the the, sugar, the maple sap used up and get it out of our storage and convert it over to sugar and then probably get the sugar sold. So that would be food. Let's see, that guy would be in here. Seems like it was just a pile of sugar. What are you? Sugar house. Okay, and do we want them both? Be nice if they were like facing each other or something. I wonder what used to be here that had that right there. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's put it that way. Let's. I'm gonna do something here. Let's back to sugar right there. Let's do this. You here. Another one there. I'll build these. And we'll tear this one down. What else would this be sharing? Is there another sugar house somewhere? There might be. What's that symbol look like? Big pile of sugar. So I need to find the sugarologists. Where are they at? <laughs> find out what they're really called too. Sugar. Well, we'll just go down to the S and See if there's any chance there is a sugar boiler. Aha! So where is the other sugar house? That one and one over here. Okay. So in that case, 
Let's delete this one. You go away. And I'm close. Where am I? There I am. You go down to zero. You go away. All right, we're going to put two of them together facing each other. And we'll do something else right in here. Let's get rid of... Let's see here. Road. Get rid of that little bit. And get rid of this little bit. Oh, actually, that's part of the house. Okay. And that'll clean up that look. All right, so that takes care of that. This can become what? Let's think about that. I noticed before I started that this all of press over here didn't have enough to do any good. There you are. So I switched back over to whale blubber. We have lots of whale blubber in, in stock. Do we want two crops of olives? That's quinces. Your chestnuts. Do we have olives? Did we not replant all? No, olives were over in here, right? There's another orchard in this area. Apples, olives. Okay. Hmm. Let's switch you to olives. These two will be olives, and let's issue a cut order and get that done. This guy can go back to olives, vegetable oil out of olives. It's not going to be functional for a while, but that's fine. And I'm just kind of fine-tuning things. I want to get George really set up to be successful before we call this one done. I'm going to add a whole bunch of, uh, of tinning in here. Uh, let's get you switched over to apples that we just took out of the other side. Cut order. All right, that takes care of that. Um, I want to expand more pas or more fields up into here. Maybe some pastures, too. Yep, we'll think about that. And I want to get a bunch of tinning going in to take all the foods we already have and make them the most efficient possible. And I'm kind of thinking right here would make a great cannery row. Right here and another one over here. And even right there, make that the industry of our, of our harbor here. And then maybe off in this area we'll get some tin industry going to get the tin processed near the, uh, the, the tinning, the, the tinneries, cannery row we'll say, near where all the food is stored. So I think that would be the more efficient uh, means of doing this. So wh where do we start? Let's see what cannery row would look like. Food, tinneries, and what kinds? I'm going to say we definitely want at least one of every kind, but do we want to group them in certain areas, in certain ways? And while I'm thinking about that, I want to redo something that was brought up a long, long time ago. And it was, hello, right there. We talked about it, but never really got a chance to do it. I don't even remember who it was that brought it up that there's no way this train is going to be able to make this turn. So I thought, you know, let's just get that done. There. Boy, there, there. Okay, where did I put that? It's right there, right? <laughs> These trains are really hard to see. I think it's there. And I can't click on it. Oh. Okay, let's... And I bet you I can't even prioritize it, huh? I can't. Well, we are going to have 40 builders. I'll bet you this will be done here real quick. So while that's being thought about, and someone clear on the other side of the map just got the order to come over here and start working on it. There we are. Now we're current. Um, let's look at the cannery, the tinneries. Food, tin. Now, which ones? Let me think about this for a minute. Let's spin over here and look at our quantities. I'm thinking meat is probably going to be quite abundant. Uh, inventory by quantity. What's the first food that we've got? Apples and red mulberries. So we can probably 
easily, we got quinces too, easily handle at least a couple of, of fruit tinneries. There's raspberries up near the top as well. So at least two fruit industries. We have lots of tomatoes. In fact, uh, Nyko set up the tinneries over here and he's making tomato soup. So tomatoes have been being used and still we have lots of uh, uh, lots in, in, in uh, inventory. So I'm thinking about switching this over to clams. Oysters? Oysters. And we have mussel too. Can the meat tinnery handle mussel? I remember seeing oysters. No, mussel is not an option. Okay. So I want to get more of these guys going and switch him over to oyster. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Then we'll be kind of done with this area, though. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm going to switch the tomato soup over to that side since that's where the tomatoes are. So what else could be done with a soup tinnery over here? Anyway, what would that be? Dock? Yeah, theme dock. And that one. You? Water scavenger. Let's get enough of these going that we could easily supply a... I can't get one more in there. A, uh, a meat tannery over here. So you two there. And two more over here. I think that'll be fine. Looks like we need to get fish over here. That's probably the goal for this one. So let's pop that in. Right there. And is there a reason to connect over here? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. You're making tin. Good. You're forging tin. Perfect. So you are bringing in tin. What kind of quantities? Tin ore. Only 100 a year. That's odd. Why is that? don't see any obstructions or any reason to be concerned. Let's take a peek here. You're mostly employed right here through the tunnel. That seems kind of far, but I also may be kind of random. You know, the game's constantly recalculating where people live and work, so that could be a, a fluke. This right here looks pretty impressive. So I'm not going to uh, be concerned about that. Five people are, are making it, though. What's our limit on one of these? These don't go to 15. They go to 6. Alright, we'll take you to 6. And you're maxed out. And you're making 194 a year. Yeah, we're going to need to get more tin produced somewhere. And I don't know that I get the housing to do much more in here. So I'm kind of hesitant. So, alright, let's leave that alone for now. Um, though I did do those jobs. Let me grab one of those to remind me to come back here, right there. When we see that one go in, then we'll we'll know to check out the rest of them. And sugar houses are there, so when we see those happen, we'll deal with that too. Okay, so lots of fruit are available. Let's start there. Food, tin, fruit is that one. There we go. So what will this look like? I took out the road that was right in here. So we're going to, I guess they'll walk on out here. This is our road now. Okay, that makes sense. Although, of course, they're going to use the railroad tracks instead. <laughs> did that get done? It did not. I think it's right there. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's, let's peek at that one more time. I think it's there. Okay, we'll just assume that it is. There it is. No? Yeah, that was it. So, we come through here, and we connect right there. Alright, so that means we can... do that. I think that one too. 
Okay, we'll see how that works. I want to do the same thing over here once this builds, once I make sure that looks right. Anyway, I don't think there's any reason for a spur track to come off behind the tinneries. Don't think so, but we'll see what the what the final look is when it's done. All right, back to tinneries. Fruit there. Now, something I discovered in at Noble Landing is that one one side of the tinneries has an open door. I've never really noticed that before. I always thought it was a little more random than that, but that's the way that that is. So, what would be best? I'm thinking an open door at this end. Right there. And then maybe an open door here in the middle. Okay, there's two tinneries of, of fruit. I think we can handle at least three. And this will be a closed door. Huh. Let's open at this end. Now these guys have an angry red circle around them, so we got to be aware of that. How far are the tinneries going to go down? One, two, three, four? I think that looks reasonable. Alright, so... Then let's have the two middle ones as open doors out here. The last one will be an open door at that end. So three of these guys. Now, vegetables... What can we handle? Actually, we can handle most anything, because we're going to put in another five to ten fields up in here. Okay, so we'll just assume that we can handle it. Let's put in... Hmm... Vegetables I probably want to put in two or three. So one in the end I'm thinking might be best to be soup. And since we have one built over here, let's just look at our options. Alright, tomato. Okay, mushroom, onion, and root come in from all the gatherers. And don't get a lot of extra uses. So I'm going to assume that that is available. Potato, if I remember right, wasn't growing too well on this map. Potato and pumpkin. Early on, I remember putting those in and getting very little yield out of them. So I, I switched them to, to, to tomatoes. So I think that's what's up there. Um, Ginger is usually kind of hard to find. Corn looks good. I like the way it looks on the, on the map. We could intentionally put in two or three corn fields. And we're growing wheat. Let's see what uh, what wheat numbers look like after all this time. Well, it's a long list. Okay, wheat. 5,000. So we should be able to handle wheat as well. So we could do two or three uh, um, soups as well. Okay. Then let's just end this one with the meat. And face the door to this end. Right there. Okay, that's done. So that's the beginning of our tinning industry. Cannery Row, we're going to call it. Now, <clears throat> I'm thinking about doing the same thing over here. I just don't know... Boy, I wish we could run buildings diagonally. Okay, so if we don't put it there, I see we've got some roads over here. We could get rid of this. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's get rid of this road. What do we want here? That one, that one. Let's get rid of that right there. And we'll start in this area and work back like this. Then we've got to get the... Uh, the mines in and the foundry in. Okay. And we've got to get more positive buildings in to offset these guys. Um, none of these are... They're vendors, but they're not going to give us the, uh, the full-blown benefit of a market. Okay. Hmm. So we need to get some wells in here. Um think 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 were the hospital were the doctors yeah they're they're purple as well could do some kind of a of a physician over here oh what else we're gonna need housing over here i'm thinking i'm gonna take these guys out i don't think this is the right look for a harbor 
So these guys may have to leave. These are meant to be on a harbor. And that could work. But we need boats to be able to pull in up along there. So... Hmm. That didn't quite work, did it? Yeah, that's too bad. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's working. And she is working on that one right there. Okay. So... Let's work on tenneries over here. So we have three fruit and one meat so far. Let's work on vegetables. Got another uh, vendor in. Um, we're at 86,000 food. Where's our open door? I think that's it, yeah. So open door actually is going to... Oh! Ooh! Belay those orders. How do I cancel that? That is this guy. It actually lined up perfectly. Good. So in that case, food, tenneries, vegetable, door toward me. You go right there. Perfect. And <clears throat> let's do three vegetables. And door toward me now. There. Two of those. Then what? We can handle at least one soup. And this, let's guess one more meat. So like that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and turn the door facing out on this one. I think that would be better. So back to food, tinneries, vegetable door aiming out though I don't want the road in there now that I think about that I want to look like you're walking into a building not walking into a road so that is gonna look kinda of odd so we will cancel that after all but we can keep the one behind it that'll be fine alright so back into food and tinneries and so three vegetables this guy is a meat meat. Didn't I want to do soup? No, we'll do two meats here. Okay. So another meat right there. Door facing out. Right there. Like that. Alright, so there's that cannery row. And we're going to put soups over here. How many? So we've got a meat there. Two meats. So three meats, three vegetable, and three fruit. All right, let's put in three soups. We'll just find a way to make it work. There you are. And front door is there. We've got a natural turn right there. So one, two, three. And we'll complete the, uh, the ground to match as soon as the snow goes away. Or Vapa can do that. I'm sure that'll drive him nuts to see that's not even. Yeah, he'll take care of that. Um, <laughs> all right. All right, we are being spammed by merchants. So let's see what's going on here. Over here, we've got Kalissa, the company merchant, bringing us nothing. Because we're buying food like crazy. Wow. Okay. Um, in that case, I need to see what... I assume that we were doing good. Maybe we we're doing good because we're buying. Ah. Okay. Let's delete and put 2,000 on each of these. So we get a, a better sense of what is going on without suddenly going empty. So 500 logs, we got 5,000 logs. We're going to cancel that order now. Okay, so in that case, we are doing what? Looks like we're doing nothing here. Yeah, okay, dismiss you. That's all done. 
And while I'm here, what's the question mark? Is that sugar? That's sugar. Okay. Got one right there. And I don't have to... Well, actually, I can make some choices. This is right there. Okay. I do have to make choices, so I've got to be able to see this other one come in. So in that case, we'll just hire two at the moment. Um, somebody just gave up, so let's see what this guy has. He has animals. We're going to say no. This one... He's buying logs. 4,000 logs. All right, turn that off. Okay, so dismiss. 12, 8, 12. The only thing that we're questionable on is iron. I've got to see if we're actually buying iron from anybody. Otherwise, yeah, dismiss you for now. And was there one more? There was not. Okay. So, but out of curiosity, are you buying food? And if so, how much? You're buying 5,000 everything also. Okay. Let's take these all down to 2,000 each. So that I can find out if we truly have food issues. That it? That's it. Okay. All right. So now we get a better sense of what's happening here. So all the tinneries are going to definitely increase our food. The food that we already have is going to count for much more when that goes in. We need to supply these tinneries. Where do we put a, found, uh, a foundry or some way of, of converting our tin ore into tin? And remind me how that is done. I'm close. Here I am. You are using furnace fuel. Is there a choice of doing it with coal? There is not. So we're going to have to get even more furnace... Well, I take that back. We're going to use more furnace fuel, but we've got 12,000 in the bank. So I don't think we need to create any more. Okay, so we can already handle that. Unfortunately, it's all on the wrong side of the map. So I need to ensure that there's furnace fuel out here. You have got 116. You guys are what? Hardware store. There's 450. Already got it handled. Okay. Cloth, meat, fruit, general store. 400 more. Okay. We're set. Good. So we've got furnace fuel on this side of the map. So we're going to need a foundry and we're going to need lots of tin mines. And then we're going to need to uh, make sure there's lots of housing for these tin mines. We do have quite a few houses over here, but we're going to need quite a few more. And we want them to look like the city, too. So we're going to have to do this carefully. Though I like the conservatories. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Vapa or Night Ghost? I know Night Ghost went conservatory crazy there. But this looks a lot like... There's a ladder in front of it. I'm thinking that was Vapa. Uh-huh. I think he went conservatory crazy, too. Well, it works. Okay. So... Let's get into here. The foundry here? On this river. That might work. I think so. Hmm. Let's look at that. Foundry, where is you? You are there. That one. That really sticks out into the river, doesn't it? Could go there. That's probably the only spot. Except maybe... No. I think we're over here. It's the only straight area that doesn't jut it too far into the river because everything else here is on a curve. I think we're going to need two of them as well. So we got that guy there. Right here? Though I like to have them in flowing water. It's the only thing that makes sense. So let's go in with a forge instead. Put that back in here. Yeah, okay. Put 
don't know how to tell what would look good. I yeah, really don't. So we're not likely going to have any houses within that circle. Let's get them a little bit closer. Right there. Foundry and Forge. Now, tin mines. That would be in raw resources and mining. And that is these guys right in here. So which one are you a tin? Right there. And that's our only choice. Can't switch. You can't uh, change the look, and that's the only mine that does it, if I recall. <clears throat> Though this is the Mega Mod, which means all kinds of things get added that I'm not aware of, and I'm discovering them later, going, "Oh wow, I didn't know that was there." But I don't think there's anything else. Build a tiny mine which is probably just uh, iron or coal. Yeah, I'm going to go with this guy. And how many? Okay, let's try to figure out what we already know. First of all, how much tin ore is in our economy? And I'm going to grab this guy. There we go. Tin ore, 1,000. Tin, 800. Okay. Um... I have no way to find out how many tin mines I've got. As far as I know, I'll only be able to find out how many mines I've got. So, really, it's just a matter of look, and it is quite distinguished. Big smokestack. So, really, just the one. Yeah, I didn't see Night Ghost put any other ones in. It's just the one. And why has the one only made that much in one year? We're coming up on winter, so we've got basically another year's worth. It's even less. 51% remaining. Hmm. Alright. This long since I checked last. We still have two people work, uh, living out here. Okay. Well, maybe that is real. We put in these guys here. Huh. Let's... Boy. No one wants to live out here, though. That's for sure. That's a pretty depressing area. Let's see. Occupants. How, uh, how depressed are you? You're big time depressed. And... Yep. Boy. Yeah, I've been working in the coal mine over here. Uh-huh. So I don't want to add any more houses out here. We need to improve their lives if we can. Without doing it in a way that's gamey, like putting three dozen wells in here. You know, I don't like to play that way. So I mean we've got we've got uh, placer mines and we've got uh, our placer mines and, and all of these. Although I'm not seeing a red circle representing these. That's odd. These don't get the negative that these guys get. Interesting. So what negative do we actually have? Just two, three, four. Huh. There's a water shrine to help out. Do we get a school over here? Got a school, but that doesn't help. Got another water shrine over here. Hmm. Well, let's do a little bit help out. What are you? Outbreak of influenza. Um, <clears throat> there, that one? Yeah. The village well. F key variant. Village well for fire water supply. Really? I've never seen this one before. It's different from the roadless well. And F... might have a fire out here around all this water you never know <laughs> I think we need one of those right there so two water shrines and a well <clears throat> are going to help out some this guy there's our fourth purple circle so that's four 
counting against one, two, three, four. And five, but it only clips a couple. So in that case, we are mostly balanced out if they all carry the same weight. And I've never been able to, to find that out. If it's just a, a yes or no, or if there's actually a number attributed to how much happiness a well really gives compared to how much unhappiness a foundry gives. So I don't know the math behind the scenes there. But there's only these two circles hitting and these two circles hitting. And this one. So this guy's getting nailed from most of them. Yeah. So, okay, we'll call that good. But the foundry requires furnace fuel, and we have that. We got two of them going in. The other sugar house is in. Let's peek over there. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted. Hit everything but the button I wanted. All right, you're right there. And you need to go to maple syrup from maple sap. Okay. Do we want to further refine it into sugar? We could. Hmm. Now, I'll tell you what, let's do that. Okay. And then maybe one more in here that actually takes it the next step. That'd be interesting. Okay, we'll do that. Food. Uh, this guy, sugar. So how do we not make this look strange? Yep, I guess so. That right there, I'll see that one go in. And we'll pepper some trees and whatnot around here, and that'll help this to look a little better. Okay. So, all right, you guys, I don't know if, if turning maple sap into maple syrup happens at the same rate that maple syrup will be turned into maple sugar. So I'm going to get one step ahead on this process and then work on this process over here with whatever is actually made. So I think that way we'll see that the less chance of there being a circle, a slashed circle sitting over the top of one of these all the time. Okay. And the snow is gone. Out of curiosity, crop fields are all picked up. Yep, all the way through. Even the orchards? Yeah, we're sitting fine. So the uh, laborers have done their job. Okay, so we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've got three of every kind of tinnery. We've got a forge and a foundry going in. Now we need to get the, uh, the tin mine. So one tin mine is supplying one forge and is staying ahead of the curve. That still seems odd. Seems to me I did buy a bunch of tin throughout many of my episodes just to get ahead in case we start to do it in the future. So I'm going to say at least, I'm gonna say two tin mines per foundry. Now, I wish I knew how much tin each of these uh, tinneries will use a year. Do we need four foundries to handle this many? 12 tinneries, 4 foundries, 8 tin mines. Kind of playing with that. At the very least, let's put in 3. Is there anywhere else that we've got flowing water that a foundry would look good? The river is all the way over here. Huh. One cold person. Okay. don't think so. So let's put in a second foundry. So first foundry is right there. Um, maybe in a new location? I want to stack them side by side. You're there. You're there. Let's go back over here. One more foundry. Let's see. Where is that? There. Forge. That's what I mean. I'm going to wait till that one builds. I want to see what the model looks like. Well, can I see it here? I can see it here. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a big uh, shed roof off of the front of that. But the crane is facing that way. That runs a big bellows. Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll go this direction. So that one is over there. Well, if I do put them near each other, it, it would almost be like this was one big operation. There is that to think of. I'm thinking that's sitting right about there. Just like that. Okay. Um... How could we combine those models? All right, we're going to let this one build. And what was that? Killed by a cave-in. Let's... And froze to death. That's not good. We really do have problems over here, huh? Firewood. Well, this has dropped pretty intensely. This was 12, 1,200 before. Okay. I did discover something while well, before I started the episode. We had a lot of the bundling sheds that had nothing to do because we had run out of bamboo. They're able to make firewood now. I don't remember that before, so I think that is a mega mod thing where Crawyer had gone through and normalized the output of similar buildings to cause them all to make kind of the same stuff. So I set these guys to firewood since we had so many logs over here. Though a lot of those logs are probably sitting over here. Ah, I got rid of these two. Hmm. The logs are probably right here. Yeah, there's a lot of them. From the traders. Let's put in... Something that makes firewood right here. What would that be? I mean, there's lots of different ways to do that now. A sawmill will do it. Um, that is definitely here, though. So that'll make firewood. We know the bundling shed will. It doesn't have to be right here. Just somewhere near this shed. These guys are making fire bundles out of the bamboo, so we don't want to do anything with those. Kind of stuck with right back where they were. I got rid of these thinking that <clears throat> we've got so many more than we have enough bamboo to handle. Alright, we'll put one more back in, and we'll make firewood out of that. Okay. Also, before I started up, I went through all of the dirt roads and switched them to the uh, the country roads. I think that looks a little better than the dirt paths that were in there. Let's see if there's any dirt paths left. They just look too uh, too stark, too uh, uh, too much of a difference. I must have caught them all. I'm not seeing any. Too much of a difference from uh, uh, from the stone roads. No, I don't see a single one left. Not even in there. Okay. So, nothing to compare to. Alright. So, I think we are at... Tin Mines now. Right there. Now, I'm used to putting mines against the hill just out of habit. They can be anywhere. Though, of course, the further away they are, the less chance that the uh, negatives are going to harm things. Don't want to get anywhere near this so that we have the flexibility of putting that second uh, forge in, wherever it's going to look good. Let's go kind of up into here. And we got to think about storage for all of this, too. Alright, so two of these per forge. So six, three, twelve. That's the combination I'm going to work with. And then hopefully before my final set of episodes here in George are done, all this will be up and running and we'll be able to get some kind of a, of a sense of, of, uh, of balance to see if that's working or not. 
So it's going to be a little inefficient for them to run without roads, but I want to see what it looks like before the roads go in. Let's get rid of some of the trees. We've got lots of laborers out there. So give them something to do. Let's take out... Actually, let's take out... No, we won't take out everything. I'll leave the bushes. So... Just looking at the footprint. Where there's no red spots, that's where the... Uh, the forge or the uh, the tinneries are or the tin mines are. Let's take out that area in front of them, and in front of them. And what is what 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 is that? There is a train of uh, of clones coming through. Wow. Um. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> Oh man, they're like aliens. There's a huge centipede coming through my map. <sighs> hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get a hold of the food situation. We're 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 at a hundred thousand food though. It's going up. <sighs> okay. You need bone meal, huh? We're out of bone meal. Hmm. Where are these people going to live? What do we do for housing out here? We've got boats that'll sit diagonally, so that's probably what's going to happen there. Maybe if the boats came in here and stayed in this area, we could put housing along the front of this. Though, of course, they're going to be in the angry red circles of our tinneries. One thing that's always been frustrating to me about the key houses is it still has to sit on land. Well, no, there are the invisible ones to go underneath. I guess we could go that route. I was thinking I could run this whole thing with housing. Do we do that with housing? To that entire area? Through... Okay, sporadically? Let's see here. Thinking, do we want boats to pull into a few of the areas? Uh, some kind of an agriculture depot over here. We need to connect this up here. And, well, I guess that could be, right, like, right in here. Hmm. Yep, I think the key houses would work along this run here. So to do that, I think I'm going to have to delete everything. Let's see if that's true. Themes, key, houses. Right there. Yep, it's all going to have to go away. <clears throat> that's a shame. Okay, so I guess we'll get th that going. This is... Do you click on it? No, it's the delete button. Okay. Alright, so... There? Let's... Do more like... That for now. Wow. Instantly. Okay. We'll do that. And is it easier to reset the ghost walls in first? I suspect it is. Here, houses. Alright, ghost piece. There we go. Oh, we did take the last one out. Okay. So in that case, start running these guys. Where are those guys going? I thought they would have hit by now. Okay, so they are heading into the town and into the original uh, town hall. And there's so many of them. <laughs> oh. Okay, you are a dry goods supplier. Let's see what happens when he lands. 93,000 food. 
pearls, cloth, feathers. How are we doing for feathers? Those nomads are going to freeze my game up, aren't they? I wonder. That's a lot for the game to suddenly be thinking about. Feathers. One thing about this map, and with all of these squares and all of these decorations, it's like three times the number of buildings is what you can actually see. There are so many hundreds, if not thousands, of little tiny decoration things. I mean, there's, there's, I don't know, 50 to 60 just in the hedge right here. You can look at how slow they're, they're walking right now. So even speed one is having trouble with this open. So it does make me worry at times that suddenly everything's going to go away. Feathers, 3,400. We never did find a really good source of feathers. We've got these guys. 200. 80. There are lots of good sources of eggs, but there are not a lot of good sources of feathers. Alright, so I'm going to buy the feathers. I think we're making... I think we're making cloth down coats. I have to go check that again. Reeds? Sure. We've got so much inventory to buy with. Let's go ahead and use it up. So, crates, rope... Uh, did I see bone meal? Bone meal. Who would have thought I'd ever be buying bone meal? Oh, uh, let's see. I have bone meal here I'm trying to sell with. <laughs> but we're out of bone meal, so let's go ahead and do that. Seedlings? I'm guessing we've got a lot of seedlings. We need 4,500. So if I did 500 seedlings, there's 4,000 right there. What can I make 500 out of? Um, 20, so... 100, 200, 250 would be, uh, no, 500. So in that case, 25? Yeah. Trade and dismiss. You're done. And did I ever get the message? I did not. Where are you guys walking to? Oh, you're still arriving. I'm on speed one of a map that is overloaded and, uh, ready to melt my computer. So it's taken them a long time to walk through the map. <laughs> Alright, well, they're still thinking about that. I didn't want to build any more of these. Boy, I'm lost over here. Until I saw that they all came in right. Because they're ghosts. They'll, they'll jump right on top of each other. Okay. So you go there, 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 and there's our nomads. Okay. So is there any reason why we would not want ghost on all of them? Will these guys fall through a ghost? They should have no reason to even travel this direction anyway. Hmm. Well, let's go play with our nomads and see just how scary this is going to be. Now, something i got to think about is if we accept them, this is suddenly another 139 objects on the map that are going to cause you know, the potential of the map uh, dying on me. So there is that to think about. I wish I could say I'll take 39 of you. That would certainly be helpful. But even right now, with this screen open while I'm thinking about this, it's causing the map to, to lag down so badly that I worry that it's suddenly all going to go white and I'm going to lose the uh, the game here. So, for that reasoning, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about not accepting them. Just for the ability to continue to build on the map. I think I'm going to deny this group and continue building, see how things go, see... Uh, what the temperature of my CPU is after recording this episode. <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to get a half a dozen more opportunities before I hand this uh, this game over to Vapa. And so we'll maybe catch the next group. But for now, let's just continue this. But uh, in the meantime, I'll tell you what, let's get this part done, then I'm going to have to call this one done. I see I'm well over 50 minutes already. So key houses will now... Will not now. Oh, turn you around. Okay. Whew. That that spooked me a bit. Alright, F. 
We've got just two models. Okay. How do, I don't know how we want to finish this end. So let's go over to this end. We can start here. And they're going to look just like that. Okay. Let's start with a white one. And I don't want it to alternate perfectly. And do I want a gap between them? I probably do. With a shed roof like that, or a gabled roof, you don't want rain to come plowing down into the edge of another gabled roof and dump everything right there. You want a little space in between. You've got to have some, some room for drainage. So that's two of them. White, dark. Let's do another dark. Space between. And a white. It's hard to make a random pattern out of two. <laughs> we'll do a white and then let it finish any way it wants to after this. Alright, we're going to go with that. Okay, these guys are built. Let's pop one in there to see it. Nothing else has finished yet. I am running at one speed, so it's very likely that nothing will. Um, next episode, I've been trying to figure out how to finish this off, and I think I figured it out. So I'm going to tackle that one next time. Um, yeah, let's just park it right here. That is such a nice look right there. Yeah, so we're going to park it there and call this one done. This has been uh, Noble Rambler. And not a moment too soon. Everything just crashed on me, but it it seemed to save. So I'm going to say a quick goodbye. And it looks like my uh, episodes have got to be closer to 50 minutes or less. Because it just about uh, took down the computer. So... Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, hit the like and subscribe if you would down there. And I will catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.